Greetings adventurers, today is another episode of Anachronisms from Amazon. This is of these um, pretty medieval Viking shoes that I found on Amazon. Um, they're super historically accurate actually. They are leather. Um, some say that they have leather bottoms, which is historically accurate, but others say it has a rubberized bottom. Not quite sure. Either way, it would be great for my kind of anachronistic um, stuff. Costume. First, we have the box. And this is a very, very big box for shoes. Um, and I didn't order them particularly big. Just enough space to wear like thick wool socks. Great for adventuring as well. Um, so we're going to get into it and see what this looks like. Here it is, surrounded by bubble wrap. Like, do you see the size difference? This is incredible. Okay. Ugh. That flew way farther than it was supposed to. Um, okay. Here are the shoes. And it feels like they do have rubberized bottoms, but they I could be wrong. Maybe it's just stiff, stiff leather. I don't know. We're gonna open it up first. We're gonna read what this says, if it has anything important. On it. Men's Renaissance boots, cuff shoes, dark brown. Yeah, not not a whole lot on here. That's very helpful. Um, open her up. First one. Let's see. Oh, so this is real leather. Super historically accurate. This is a rubber sole, but if you look at it, it's very hard to notice. And it is a very kind of historically accurate look. It's anachronistic. Okay, it looks like it has filling on the inside, just to give it some shape. So this is kind of how it unlaces. It goes through these holes right here. And you kind of wrap it around and then put it through this little loop here and tight. So here it is. Let me get the other one out now. Super excited. This is awesome because these are shoes not quite fit for winter weather did make a video on my winter boots that I made but they're great for everyday wear and they look just a little more um, historically accurate so open both of them up here they are they're in a turn shoe style um, with a very on Amazon, there was a picture of the pattern. It's very, it looked almost exactly the same as the patterns I've found on websites for reenactment and stuff. They are the shoes. They have actually pretty great. This is surprising because I noticed that on some of the complaints of these shoes was that it was too thin on the bottom and didn't have enough cushioning and it, you could feel every rock under you are you kidding me like this is as flexible as my sneaker is it is and it has insoles on like it has cushioning not sure what these people are complaining about so we're gonna get some close-ups of this I'm super excited Let's cut to close-ups right now there it is. So, like I said before, these shoes are extremely rev reminiscent of uh, Viking or Anglo-Saxon uh, turn shoes um, that we associate them with, obviously. There are other cultures that wore these shoes. 
Um, and these kinds of shoes lasted, as the package said, right up into the Renaissance. These work so well, they're so easy to make. Not easy enough for me to make. Um, but they're great. I will be making a video very soon about um, things that I do to this shoe, because I will be changing some of this. And, yeah. Um, we're going to put them on now. Oh my god, I can't wait to get this on my body. I mean, feet, I guess. Oh, they're so comfortable. That's the first one on. And look at that. We're going to put the second one on so you can see this side of the shoe without my needing to move around and knock the camera down. So I'm not sure how exactly I'm supposed to tie these, um, but I figured out a way just now on how I like to do them. Look at that. Look at these. Oh, these are so great. Oh, I'm so excited. Just wait till I waterproof them. Video on that coming soon. Look at these. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not wearing the right clothes right now. I'm, as you can see, in my school clothes. But I'm willing to sacrifice my dignity for you guys just to show off these shoes on camera right now with the wrong clothes on. Oh my gosh, these shoes are so comfortable, but because they're new, they're kind of loud. If you can hear this, they're fine. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh my gosh, okay, so tomorrow, this will be part of the video, but tomorrow I'm going to do a bunch of be real footage wearing these shoes if it's not too wet outside. I haven't waterproofed them yet. Video on that coming soon. I keep saying this, I'm sorry. Okay, so these shoes are so great in so many ways. Okay, so they're super historically accurate. Leather-wise, I'm pretty sure this is veg-tanned leather. Um, and, like, they're so great, okay? But they're also slightly anachronistic, slightly more comfortable to wear with these bottoms on. Look at this. So it's, it's hard rubber that has, like, a... Like a shoe insert in it so that you can wear it like a regular shoe um and but it's still so flexible and so good for wearing it it, it it's amazing these shoes were amazing 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 to wear to try out Stay tuned for a video about waterproofing and changing bits and pieces of this shoe. I will be updating it for my own use. Stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that YouTube stuff. And until next time, farewell.